Thank you, Tony. There is new fallout tonight from our Target 12 consumer investigation camera controversy. The speed camera is now spread out across Providence, have caught the attention of Rhode Island's House Speaker. As we've reported, the cameras have generated thousands of tickets in the last few weeks and led to a lot of angry people at Providence Municipal Court challenging those tickets. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to the House Speaker this afternoon. Steph joins us live from Providence with the follow-up. Speaker Mattiello says he has mixed feelings about the speed cameras because he doesn't want people speeding past school zones, but with 17,000 tickets issued just since January, he's proposing to change the law to make it more fair to drivers. These long lines at Providence Municipal Court Monday surprised some lawmakers, startled to see how many people were being picked up by Providence's new speed cameras. I thought that I would not want to be one of those citizens having to go to court to to address the ticket. All those in favor? The bill to allow the speed cameras overwhelmingly passed the General Assembly back in 2016 with the speaker's support. But Mattiello says he grew concerned when he saw that 17,000 people have been issued the ticket since January at five locations near school zones in Providence and six more cameras will start catching speeders on March 19th. I don't want it to be construed as a money grab and too many tickets being given out, uh, but I am concerned that we have that many motorists operating in excess of 11 miles over the speed limit. Mattiello says he's working with Representative Bob Craven to amend the law so the cameras stay in place, but warnings would be given out and first tickets could have a lower fine. The goal is, should be, and has to be to protect our children in school zones, and that's the ultimate goal. Right now, the fines are $95 for going 11 miles over the speed limit. The city of Providence has already received more than $600,000 from violators, and that's just about a third of the folks who have actually paid the fines. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, I went to snooze.